In our previous segment of Hometown History, we covered the early years of the Penn Wells Hotel. Today, we'll begin where we left off, in 1926, when the Wellsboro Inn, as it was called at the time, was in danger of being torn down. Hi, this is Carolyn Stranieri from Howard Hanna Professionals, where we love our local heritage. The years of neglect caused the building to fall into disrepair, but the newly formed Wellsboro Hotel Company was determined to save it. A complete renovation soon took place, with the Art Deco design popular in the 1920s influencing the interior. A new name was needed and the Penn Wells Hotel was born. The hotel prospered as a destination with travelers coming from New York City, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and beyond, thanks in part to trains and buses frequenting the area. Even Groucho Marx was a guest at the Penn Wells Hotel. However, the Penn Wells Hotel opened their doors during Prohibition, and what we call the lounge was referred to as the assembly room back then. Wellsboro Rotary would meet there, as well as women who were not welcomed in many public bars at the time. A focal point of the hotel Hotel, the fireplace, was added in 1931, and by the 1950s, with popularity growing, televisions were added. Repairs and updates continued over the years, but in 2020, a major overhaul took place, including replacing the fire brick, redoing the floors, and expanding the bar into an L shape. The bookshelf patterned wallpaper was replaced with real shelves and holds not only books and other memorabilia, but those ever present beer steins. Throughout all the changes that have taken place on Wellsboro's Main Street, the Penwell's Hotel has remained an anchor and a place where one can enjoy the atmosphere of an era gone by. For all your real estate needs, call the professionals at Howard Hanna Professionals in Wellsboro and ask for Carol Hoke, Carolyn Stranieri, or Sandy Stevens.